The community of Floyd County continues to show support of its fallen officers and injured first responders following a shooting that occurred nearly two weeks ago. You know, we've had support from the community. We've had support from other agencies. We've had support in, in so many different levels of city government. Um, I've, I've still going back and trying to reach out to some of the people who text or emailed or contacted me and thank them for their time. Of course, the uh, first week was really devastating. It was really, um, nobody really knew what to do. And after that, there's the outpouring of help was just uh, unbelievable. As a result of a shooting that took the lives of three police officers in Floyd County, community members and agencies have rallied through means of fundraising to help out affected families. It, it means everything. I mean, you know, we, you go through something like this and, uh, you know, it, it's something that's kind of been unprecedented around here. We've, these kind of things just don't happen in our small, small towns and we're, we're, we are a tight-knit community. I mean, people, you know, we're, it's not like uh, some of the big agencies or big, you know, municipalities where People are just a number. I mean, these, these faces, these names, everybody knows everybody and, you know, everybody, you know, cares for everybody. And just just seeing that uh, people stepping up, I mean, bringing food, you know, money, you know, I mean, they're bringing, you know, donations to the families and uh, and really just being there to, to lend a hand to, for a hug, anything. I mean, it, it, it means a lot to, to each and every one of us that's still just trying to trying to heal and trying to recover as, you know, the days go on here. It's all in our hands, this life of time that's given to us all. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. Experienced heart specialist and subspecialist collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac, electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is a Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. When it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. Since the shooting on June 30th, Stapleton adds that its local department has faced damages, stating the loss of two cruisers. Stapleton adds how any proceeds help the department and families. Well, right now, there's a lot of donations being taken up. You can look at the uh, Appalachian Floyd County community, and uh, it's, uh, it's got a website that you can donate to, and all that money will be divvied up between the uh, families of the fallen. But, you know, we've got, uh, we've got three uh, people that were injured. You got Darren Lawson, who has other surgeries coming, deputy, and then you have uh, Joe Reynolds, who uh, had to have some surgery, and then you have Gary Wolf, who's had to have some surgery and may have to have more. And you know those officers were injured, and they've sort of been, uh, I wouldn't say overlooked, but a lot of money has been, a lot of people have been working towards helping the uh, fallen officers' families and stuff, and we eventually got to start looking towards those three and try to help them out some. Uh, you know. Uh, if you watch uh, social media, I was shown a video yesterday of Deputy Lawson getting to see his daughter for the first time, and it's it's heartwarming uh, that he's got to do that. Even though he's injured right now, you know the fact that he is uh, he's able to um, see his family and stuff. It, it's important. It's very important. To donate, you can visit the Foundation for Appalachian Kentucky or visit the link in the description. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.